hello friends now we are going to start our project so first of all we need to create one login page so before login page we need to start our project and we have to need uh, create new project so i am going to open visual studio i am going to show you step by step everything so don't worry about that if you are beginner then this is for you now here new project now in e drive i am going to create one folder e drive library management on this we are going to save this project you have to select here visual c sharp and here windows application form and now ok it will take some time so wait yes so we have now one form now right click property and we are going to change the text and also we are going to change the name the current name is form 1 and we are going to change here login right click here and go to rename and now we are going to change here login yes so you can see now our form name is login and you can see uh, this is our form now we need to create one database so right click here add new sql server database from here you have to choose your database name server name if you are not found here then please please refresh so we will get here the server name now we are going to create here database library management and now ok this already exist then library management system ok so we get here our database now click here now in table right click here and add new table now we are going to create one table for user user means uh, who is using this software means library person and we do not require registration form for this because in windows application do not require registration form if uh, you have five librarian then you have to enter directly five entries over here now we are going to write here full name we are here then username we are here then password where care then email where care and then 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 contact where care now we have to change here our table name our table name is library person and now we need to give this auto increment so click here and open this property and now identity specification and select here yes now you can see here return your primary key and identity now you need to update update database oh, update complete now close this now we can see here uh, we have one table now right click and show table data i am going to enter here one record
okay so i add year one record now we need to here do designing so first of all i am going to create year one image folder new folder name images now i already take one image for lock now copy and paste here so we have one images now we are going to take panel from here you have to select this panel yes i take this panel now in this panel i am going to take one picture box in this picture box right click property and we have to select this image local resources import and then select this image okay so now we have one image now we are going to take label the one label this is the second label and now we are third label and we need two text box one text box two text box and we need one button okay now select this two label right click property and now here font we are going to take 16 and font weight bold to okay now here in this text we are going to write username now here we are going to write password now we can put like this and we can make bigger these text box and now to this button right click property text login now we are going to change font size 16 bold true and if you want to change color then you have to use this for color now if you if you want to change background color then go here back color now we need to change for color something white yes now for this level 3 go to text insert here login form font 20 and bold so now we have one label with heading then two text words and then we have one button now we can set as per your requirement now yes now you can see the advantage of uh, panel is if you move this then you can see all controls are moved so this is the advantage of panel and now i set panel over here and now make the size of this form over here yes now i am going to run this yeah you can see we have form like this it looks good okay now we need to do database connectivity so double click here and here we have to add library using system dot data dot sql client 
and here SQL connection C O N is equal to new SQL connection here at the red sign and now it is same as a ASP.NET now right click here property select this connection string copy and just paste here now we have to generate one page load event so I am going to here view load double click and you can see here we have here page load event here we have to set if connection dot if connection state is equal to is equal to connection state dot open then connection clause you have to write this in all page load event because otherwise you are yet in error connection is connection is not lost connection is not open something like this but if you use this then you are not getting error now i am going to here SQL command cmd is equal to cn dot create command sorry cn dot create command then cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot text cmd dot command text here we have to write our query cmd dot execute non query so i am going to write here query so now here we have to write select star from our table name library person where username is equal to single double double single and password is equal to first single quotes inside double quotes and between plus plus sign here also plus plus sign and we need to write here text box 1 dot text and here we have to write text box 2 dot text okay and we are going to take here one label uh, one variable integer count is equal to 0 now here data table dt is equal to new data table SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter CMD then DA dot fill DT and now here count is equal to DT dot rows dot count dot to string and now we have to convert this in integer so convert dot to int 32 and now you are light now we have to compare here if count is equal to 0 means username password does not match else we have to forward in next page so here we are going to write here message box message box dot show username password does not match now if uh, successful login then we have to create one menu it is known as MDI form so I am going to here add here add new item and now we are going to select here MDI parent form and we are going to change your name MDI underscore user and now we are going to add it will take some time to load now right click here property and here we have to use maximize okay now again in login.cs here if username password match then we are going to write here this dot hide means this form will be hide and now we have to three and one object for, for this uh, MDI form because we have to hide this form and we have to open this MDI form so to open MDI form we have to make the object MDI user MU is equal to new MDI user and now we have to write like this MDI M MU dot show so now I am going to run and yes one more thing I'll show you you can see here uh, the password is visible so we have to make password invisible so for that view designer right click property and here password character we have to set star 
now i am going to run and first of all i am going to enter wrong username password so we are getting error username password does not match and now i am going to write threat username password amit amit and now login yeah you can see here we get here mdi form so this is the first step of our project in this video we create login form and next video we are going to start one by one one by one so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it so other people can also use this thank you so much for watching my video thank you audrey